what it means, what, what it actually means to be part of the community that is discriminated against and their struggles and challenges. Is, I, I think my, my outlook on life has changed drastically. The Dartmouth students that we get have a sense of responsibility. That's the key. When Trudell was talking about um, giving back to the community and feeling some sense of duty, I think that's, that has, to a certain extent, always been a part of me. Jape is one of 240 Dartmouth undergraduates who, over the past 10 years, have participated as interns in a nationwide program called Dartmouth Partners in Community Service. The program was created in 1995 to inspire Dartmouth students to join with Dartmouth alumni and their families in addressing problems facing our society. It features a unique and powerful partnership between Dartmouth students, alumni, and worthy local community service organizations across the country. Today, 102 community service organizations have registered with DPCS, having met its established standards. 88 alumni from 38 classes have raised their hands to volunteer as mentors. More and more classes are supporting DPCS, designating it as their class project. I was uh, president of the class of 59 in the early 90s. A group of good, close classmates joined me in deciding to make a commitment that we want to rejuvenate the class. The most impactful new program turned out to be one brought to me by classmate Michael Stern. I saw this as an opportunity to expose young people at a much earlier age uh, actually before they became involved in business, in areas that might provide a longer term uh, commitment. And then we uh, worked hard to find students and find community service organizations. Uh, we did interviewing ourselves in the early years. And that developed into a really nice relationship with a bunch of classmates that I hadn't known that well before. It was more of a, a friendship type thing than anything else. Uh, I have lunch with him and his wife and, and talk about things like uh, careers and our time at Dartmouth College and, and how, uh, how my internship was affecting my Dartmouth experience and uh, I'd have him near the firehouse and he came here and we let him ride on the engines and hang out upstairs and join us for dinner so we gave him a glimpse into what our family is like here at the, at the Hanover Fire Department kind of work that we do. Her parents wanted her to become a doctor in the family. And she spent three to five different times with me saying in the long run, that's not what I want to do. And made it a really strong mentoring experience for me. So being able to talk through these experiences with my mentors um, really helped me through it. And uh, I mean, they invited me over to Thanksgiving, got to know their family really well. So it was like having the family away from home when I couldn't be with my own. I was the one who seemed to be getting the biggest charge out of it because they were doing such a fabulous job. It's given me a term of, of wonderful relationships with these women because I've never worked in a place where you deal with such sensitive issues that women can come in buzzing with hope every day and, and singing and talking about, you know, um, the women's basketball team and, and, and being able at the same time to deal with such heavy issues as domestic and sexual violence. During her internship working with the homeless in Washington, D.C., Social Justice Award recipient Jennifer Rotman kept a journal of her experience and was often inspired to make sketches and write poetry. The journal became the basis for an art show that was displayed at the Tucker Foundation for two years. The thing is, it's not the homelessness that pains them. When they tell their stories, they do not describe the cold or the hunger or the dirtiness or danger. Sure, that hurt, but we can give them blankets and feed them sandwiches, and that soon goes away. When they cry over a pain they have not thought about in 10 years, or become a wounded child again before your eyes, it's not the lack of a house they're describing. It's the lack of a home.
give students today an opportunity financially and emotionally to look at the not-for-profit world as a viable career option. I would definitely tell them to, to do at least one internship because it's like, I'm not going to remember, um, you know, my last sociology class at Dartmouth, but I'm going to remember my time, you know, at East Harlem School. That's like one of the, you know, most rewarding, you know, experiences I've had at Dartmouth. This is a program that didn't exist when I was in school. And I think that if I had had this experience, I would have been much more sensitive to the needs of other segments of our community. And I would have been made aware of the satisfaction that I could get from being able to help others. You see students, when they come back, they go back into the classroom. The hand goes up more. They seem to be engaged with the professor before class or after class. Or they seem to be saying, wait a minute, I read this, however, I've experienced this, and the internship provides an understanding for the exploration of the gap between the application and the education experience. You can become part of this creative and motivated alliance of concerned people who are passionately optimistic about helping bring about transformative experiences for the country's disadvantaged, for service organizations in greatest need, for mentors who share their wisdom, and most importantly, for student interns who bring it all to life. DPCS is a unique pioneering effort. No one else has the dedicated and sharing people in the Tucker Foundation supporting them. No other group of Dartmouth alumni is as focused on helping undergraduates expand their educational experiences while making a difference in the world around them. All who have touched the DPCS experience feel an invigorating sense of self and community. Visit our website and learn more. Join us. Feel good. Share. Learn. And grow.